time in the Kitchen Roll Kitchen with Chef Brendan and Kathleen from Tabri. And what are you guys going to whip up for us today? Uh, today we're doing a nice uh, summer dish. We have a uh, pan roasted cod fillet, and we're serving that with a couple of market vegetables so, mm -hmm. baby zucchini, some green beans, and some fennel. And that's going to be sauteed with olives and mint. And then we have a nice uh, Greek yogurt sauce to come along with it. Okay, and we were, um, you know, talking before the show, and you guys really wanted to pick out something that people can make at home. Absolutely. Um, you know, I myself uh, hit the farmer's markets a lot, and sometimes I'll only make it once a week, so I'll pick up a myriad of things that look really good to me, and I wanted to do something that uh, people could do if they're in the same boat as myself, where I would need to get rid of a couple things uh, in one dish uh, for one or two people at home. And you also are picking things that are seasonal, because you are, um, you know, these are things that people can buy at the local farmer's markets. Totally, and especially right now in the middle of July, it's at like peak season. Mm -hmm. So it's you can, sometimes I come home with a lot more than I uh, than I ought to. So, uh, so yeah, definitely. And just tell us a little bit about Tabri. Uh, Tabri Restaurant. I've been working there for three years now, uh, almost since their inception on Elmwood Avenue, and now we're down in Snyder, and uh, we are continuing to execute our uh, menu. We've been focusing a lot on fresh seafood this summer, and it's been going really great. We just opened up our patio, uh, 40 seats. And so the weather's been accommodating for that, and so it's been a lot of fun. What kind of cuisine is it? Uh, it's French cuisine, um, modern interpretations of French cuisine uh, with classic flavors. And All right, great. Fun. And we'll have more on this in just a little bit, but for now, we're going to send it over to Emily with your dot com check. Thanks, Emily. I'm joined now with Chef Brendan from Tabri. What dish are you making? I was changing IFB to do the weather. Okay, hi there, Amelia. Um, hi. I <laughs> am doing a pan roasted cod fillet. Okay, that which sounds is a delicious. Nice Pacific sustainable cod fish. Mm hmm. Uh, very clean and white, and we're going to be serving it with a really nice saute of some vegetables that we picked up on at the farmer's market. And you bring up the fact that it's sustainable. I think that's really important. Talk mm -hmm. to me a little bit about, you know, make sure, making sure that if you're eating fish that you are getting something that is sustainable. Well, I mean, we all enjoy eating seafood, and uh, a lot of seafood is caught in a way that harms our environment mm -hmm. and also harms the future of the specific fish that you are going to be eating. So uh, it has to do with um, picking... Uh, Type of fish that is caught in a way where it's going to be uh, available for uh, future generations to enjoy, and uh, so it might mean uh, paying a little bit more or eating mm -hmm. a little bit less, but mm -hmm. uh, it is worth it in the end. I feel. Okay, so what are we going to do? Is that fennel that we're great. starting to yep. chop up? Uh, we've got some stuff that we've got down at the market. Uh, some really nice fennel. Mm -hmm. uh, some great summer squash or zucchini. Yes. Uh, some green beans. Okay. And we're going to saute these together, and we're going to uh, season them with some tomatoes some Kalamata olives and some mint. Uh, these are very southern France uh, Provencal flavors okay. and, um, and they go great with the fish and it's sort of a way to bring a couple ingredients together in one pan for a quick easy meal. So I've got some olive oil going in my pan here okay. uh, which I have already on a nice medium heat and I'll turn it up just a little bit. I'm going to start out with the fennel. Uh, fennel can be eaten raw of course um, but it cooks down just like an onion. Uh, it has a really nice sweet flavor and for my dish, I want it to be a little softer. Okay. Um, so we're going to start with that. Okay. And while that's going, uh, I've got the zucchinis here. I'm just going to trim off the ends. Okay. And we're going to break these down into somewhat more manageable size pieces. Something that you would want to eat. Not exactly. Have to cut. Yeah. Uh, now uh, you could take a zucchini and you could have it out and you could stuff it, uh, which you would want to leave it whole. But that's a whole different game. Okay. So we'll throw a little bit of our zucchini in now. Okay. I'm going to stop you there because mm -hmm. this is a good stopping point. When we come back, we'll continue making our dish. Right now, we're going to have the zucchini, the fennel, mm -hmm. in our olive oil. We'll have more cooking coming up, but you'll never have to plan. This is coming after the break. You'll never have to plan or stress about a great day in western New York again because we have a new map that is packed with loads of information that the whole family can enjoy. Stick with us. We'll be right back. Back in the kitchen now, Chef Brendan. Welcome from Tabri and Thank Snyder, um, serving French cuisine there. Yes, ma'am. Very yummy. Okay, we're making a cod dish today. So get us up to speed with what you did um, while we weren't in the kitchen. Right on. Um, what I've been doing while we were away is making our vegetable saute. Okay. Uh, I think, as you had seen last time, we started out with our fennel and our zucchini. Mm -hmm. um, all I've done since then is season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. And I threw in some diced tomatoes that we had. Okay. And some of our green beans. And then I did add the olives as well. Okay. Now, if people aren't familiar with kind of cooking, I guess, fennel, how do you want to get it? Like, what texture are you looking for when you know that it's done? And can you overcook it? Um, I mean, certainly you could overcook it. Okay. But, um, but uh, you, you don't have to worry about it too much. Um, okay. It's, it's still going to be delicious. Uh, I 
prefer it in this dish to be a little bit softer. Um, okay. If you've ever cooked onions, uh, they cook the exact same way. Okay. You slice them a little bit thin, and uh, five to ten minutes, they're going to be soft. Fabulous. Absolutely. Okay, um, so what's next? Right. Uh, I've got the pan going, and we're going to finish up with our fish. Uh, at this point, everything has just been stewing together for a little while, mm -hmm. and um, it should be coming together nicely. Okay. And I've got the heat on low on that. And we so you want low heat for the fish? You want low heat for the vegetables. For the vegetables, okay. You want them okay. to sort of uh, allow some of the flavors to come together. Okay. And uh, I had it covered for the time that we were away, so about 10 minutes. Uh, again, this is really something that's pretty easy. Um, it shouldn't take up, you know, your entire, your, all your attention. Uh, you know, it's something you could be doing uh, while you're attending to other matters around the house and all that. Okay, perfect. So at this point, uh, we've got our oil hot for the fish. Okay. And all I'm going to do is season it with a little bit of sea salt. Okay. And some cracked pepper. We should be just about good there. Okay. I just want to make sure it's going to be hot enough for us. Now, if somebody's going to Tabri, what would be one of the, I'm sure everything there is delicious, but what would you recommend if they're going there? Um, I probably would order whatever we have going off of our special list because okay. we've been getting a lot of really great seafood in and a lot of really seasonal stuff. Okay. Um, I personally love cooking our duck products. Okay. We always have a duck breast on the menu and uh, we always serve that with a lot of uh, great uh, fruit flavors. And um, that's what we really just try and focus on uh, getting really awesome um, proteins and meats mm -hmm. and stuff like that to uh, cook with and we try and pair it with whatever seasonal so our menu changes uh, periodically throughout the year sometimes twice a season okay but at least four times a year so always fresh always fresh it's always seasonal uh, we're trying to do food that's uh, classic and comfortable okay and but at the same time we're trying to be creative with it mm -hmm. and to make it uh, nice and clean and fun for you. And you were saying that the patio just opened, so you can check it out, uh, of course, any day, but live music on Friday nights on the patio. Friday night, we're doing live music every Friday to, uh, to improve some of the atmosphere out there. So That's it's wonderful. been fun, yep. At this point, my oil is just starting to smoke, so I'm going to throw it on the fish there. Okay. And get the fact that it's a little better, I don't want you to get it. Okay. Um, with, with cooking fish, uh, I try and cook it on the one side for almost as long as I can um, to get a nice brown crust on it. Okay. And then we turn it over and we just finish it. Just kiss it on the other side, just to barely cook it through. You don't okay. want to overcook your seafood. One wants a, a dry piece of fish, and cod in particular is a flaky fish, um, not, not like your uh, tuna or swordfish or something that you might be familiar with, which is more of a steak fish. So this guy will fall apart if you overcook it too much. Okay. So um, So if he falls apart, you probably overcooked him. You probably would have done it a little too and much. And is yeah. it true with seafood, it's kind of one of those things you don't want to mess around with in the pan? You don't want to like move it around, you just want to let it kind of and in the flavor or? If you move it around too much, people have a tendency to want to toy around with the food. Uh, you want to just let it kind of do its thing. Okay. Um, for one, it's going to really improve the golden brown crust on the fish. Mm -hmm. uh, if, you, if you move around too much, it's not going to get that. Okay. Um, so quickly, just to make sure we're off the speed here, uh, we've got our vegetable saute. Really just stewed together lightly. Okay. You know, I'm sure you can smell it. We've got the olives. Yeah, it which smells is really delicious nice, in here. Really nice, briny flavor to go with the tomatoes yep. and, of course, with the fish. Um, I'm going to finish it. Uh, I like to finish dishes with uh, soft herbs, okay. like parsley, chive, basil, or mint, okay. towards the very end. Okay. Uh, they tend to lose a little bit of their sharpness if you put it in too early. Okay. Uh, on the other hand, herbs like thyme, marjoram, bay leaf, you want to throw those in early. Okay. To really let the flavor sort of uh, unlock. Okay. So okay, that makes sense. I've got my bunch of basil here. I just trimmed off a little bit of the end. Uh, just going to roll it up a little bit and get a nice... Nice chop on that. Uh, again, our, our dish is, is finished over here. Okay. So now we're concentrating on our sauce. Exactly, yeah. I'm seasoning these vegetables with a little bit of mint to bring out some of the uh, brightness of the uh, summer vegetables. Okay. And uh, I've already got it prepared here. Uh, this is our Greek yogurt dressing. Okay. Uh, a nice cool accompaniment to the vegetables and to the fish, which is looks like it's coming along pretty nicely. It does look like it's coming uh, along so nicely. I can see a little, little nice bit. browning on it. Um, I'm controlling the temperature on the on the plate. I started off nice and hot, so uh -huh. the fish isn't going to stick on me. Uh, at this point, you can almost see the brown edges on right. the side. It means it's getting close. Okay. Um, but I want it to cook a little bit more through. So what I'm looking for is the fish to become opaque okay. on both sides, and then I can flip it and finish it. Okay. I'm learning um, new things here in the kitchen. We're going to awesome. send things to break. Coming up after the break, we'll have our plated dish. We'll, we'll finish up with the sauce and we'll plate the dish. Okay, that cool. sounds good, and we'll have our second helping. Before we get to that, though, I'll have a look at your weather forecast. This time, we'll be talking more about the extended forecast. Back in two minutes.
All right, we are back in the kitchen and we are just finishing up our dish. We've got the pan roasted cod over top of the summer veggies and we're going to top it off with this yogurt sauce. Go ahead and tell us again what's in the yogurt sauce. Awesome. Uh, I decided to use a Greek yogurt because two reasons. Mainly, it's a little bit thicker, it stands up when we mix in some of the ingredients, and it also has a bit more of a tang. So, what I've done is I've added uh, half a juice of a lemon, um, a little bit of honey. And so that sort of brings out both the sweetness and the sour of the yogurt that's already there. And yeah, it's nice to have that with, mix, huh? Absolutely. just sort of amplifies those flavors. Uh, a little bit of salt and pepper because we season everything, of course, and some chopped mint because mint is a flavor that's predominant throughout the dish. Uh, we cooked it in the vegetables and, again, in the sauce. So we've got And Greek dish yogurt is really popular right now, it seems like. It, it is, yeah. It's also, um, a lot of times it has a lot of the active cultures that people are looking for when they're eating uh, probiotic foods like yogurt or sauerkraut or kimchi even, which has totally been popular this year. Korean food has been huge. All right, so as you top this off, go ahead and let's talk about our second helping. Just we're going to talk sure. about options you could use these veggies for. Um, absolutely. Um, again, you know, the idea behind this is what am I going to do with all these vegetables that I have sitting in my crisper? Um, another thing you could do is take all your vegetables and even if you have a vegetable peeler at home, uh, shave them real thin and toss them in with the leftover Greek dressing that you have. And you're making sort of like a full Greek salad. And maybe if you have some feta cheese, you could throw that on there and throw it on. You could eat that just as it is or on top of some mixed greens. Uh, it's great the following day with a little bit of, uh, you know, like a, a chicken thigh or whatever else you have going. Um, it's all about, you know, being creative and putting ingredients that you already have uh, together again. So these veggies are paired well more with some, um, you know, a fish or a lighter meat like chicken or, you know, something like that, uh, more so than the darker meats? I would say so, yeah. I mean, a lot of people, when they're eating a, uh, a steak or something like that, pork, it's a, a little bit more of a